I mean, Quran is never going to be a casual read for you and me. We're going to pour over every word and we're going to hold on to this guidance and we're going to try to understand it to the best of our ability and then see the world through it as though this is the only guide for our survival. I didn't sh share with you the concept of a taswil al-fanni fil Quran al-Kareem, artistic depiction in the Quran. One of the most beautiful images in the Quran is in the first ayat of Baqarah. I didn't share it with you, I'll share it with you now. This is a good occasion to share it. When Allah says, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ هُدَلْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ you can actually turn that into a picture. That's actually a painting. Let me show you how. Imagine for a moment that you are on a journey. It's dark and dangerous. You're up on top of a cliff somewhere. One wrong step and what's going to happen? You're down. You're, you're, down. you're, you're gone. Now, in every step you take, you're being extra what? You're being extra cautious. But you cannot be cautious unless you have some light. Some light. And the, or some direction being offered to you, somebody says, you can't even see for yourself. You're being told, turn left and take three steps. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, just take three steps. Don't take four, because you get killed. Just take three. Okay. The, the person whose directions you're going to follow, you can't have any doubts in it. If you want to protect yourself, you're going to have to follow the guidance without any doubts. La rayba fihi. The idea of holding on to guidance with all your might and following it as closely as you possibly can because if you veer off the path, you're gonna, you know, irda, what's literally the Quran calls irda or taradda, falling off a cliff. That's the image described of someone who loses guidance, literally falling off a cliff. It, you know, habata, they descended. That's not the position we want to be in. So just looking to the book of Allah for counsel on every turn, at every occasion, that's the relationship the Israelites were asked for. And then they were told, وَذْكُرُوا مَا فِيهِ And mention what is in it. It means two things. Remember what's in it, and also means mention what's in it. Why is that important? In this halaqa right now, people are watching live, or they're going to watch a recording. You guys are sitting in the masjid, I'm talking. We're in the environment where we're remembering what he says. But then when we leave here, we're home, and we're in the middle of an argument, or we're about to make a transaction online, or we're about to go drive somewhere to see certain friends, that's the time to remember it. Like right now, it's easy to remember. The time to remember it is when you need it. This is just so it can be reinforced in all the other non-masjid times, the non-Ramadan times. وَذْكُرُوا مَا فِيهِ Make mention of what is in it. And the, the beauty of our book, Allah made it easy to memorize. يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ So just you reciting Qur'an with reflection when you're driving, when you're walking around, when you're just you know, doing nothing, just recite. Just recite. And you will remember the teachings of Allah and they'll come into your life. They'll make their way into life in places you wouldn't expect. 